Good morning, Dubai. Wishing everyone a very, very good morning. Today is March 17th, so that means St. Patrick's Day. Copyright. Okay. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all those celebrating. And actually, um, you don't have to be Irish to be celebrating because we're living in Dubai. And over here, be it Ramadan, be it Christmas, be it uh, Diwali, St. Patrick's Day, like whatever, we celebrate everything as a big community all together. And before we speak more on St. Patrick's Day, today's top three stories are going to be prayers in the UAE mosques. This Ramadan will be limited to 30 minutes only. Visits and dis uh, disrupt distributing meals this Ramadan is limited to family members only in the UAE. and uh, the best Irish pubs in Dubai in 2021. So we'll be discussing all of that. And hi, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. What is St. Patrick's Day? What is the meaning of St. Patrick's Day? Do you know? You really want me to answer that question? <laughs> yeah, I do. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what St. Patrick's Day is. Okay, let me enlighten you. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Enlighten it's, me. It's not all shamrocks and it's not all, you know, pad padlocks. No, paddies. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> it is. The day commemorates St. Patrick and the arrival of Christianity in Ireland and celebrates the heritage and culture of Irish in general. So celebrations generally involve public... parades and festivals and uh, all these kind mm. of wearing green attire and shamrocks and the whole makes gang, sense. Gang makes stuff. Sense. yeah makes sense good stuff right yeah good stuff i wish casey was here oh casey's not here i forgot to tell you guys so casey's out right now celebrating um st patrick's, patrick's day. day not with us but <laughs> with her with her people in mcgettigans and having A baller of a time. So yeah, we miss you, Casey. But ha you do you, and we'll see you later today when you're back in the office. I'm sure she's gonna be wearing green, so we'll take stories of that and sh share it with you guys on Instagram. Uh, okay. Anyway, moving on to our first story. Uh, Isha and Tariba prayers in mosques will be limited to 30 minutes maximum in compliance to COVID regulations during the holy month of Ramadan. Moreover, so these. Uh, by the way, let me tell you guys these. Uh, Announcements came in yesterday during the COVID briefing, which happens every Tuesday. And the National Emergency Crisis and Disaster Management Authority, NCEMA, stated that mosques will close their doors immediately after prayers for safety reasons. And uh, women, women's prayer areas, uh, other facilities for prayers will also remain closed. As for religion lessons that are normally held in mosques will remain suspended as well. And NCE, NCEMA stated that the practice of distributing iftar meals within selected mosques will be prohibited this Ramadan. And also, please know that authorities will assess the status of the pandemic in the UAE and accordingly send updates regarding other practices. So do keep an eye on NCEMA and other government, uh, uh, government sites and Twitter and Instagram and uh, official news sites like ours. And we will keep you updated with everything that you need to know. And Ramadan is starting in less than a month. April 12th Whoa. Woo and it's it's so much fun like I mean it is a great time for celebration and getting like you know um, I think getting close with God right yes um, so the main like the main aspect of it is to you know like it's a month to worship yeah. God and sacrifice a lot that's why we fast um, and there are multiple things that you can do like spiritually during Ramadan you know? yeah yeah like, and you have to give up something you have to give up uh, all of those like if you if you drink or anything you have to give it up 40 days prior to Ramadan as well right uh right yeah 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 40 days what, were, you, were you saying drinking like drinking or any like drinking smoking all of that like you have to give it up 40 days before smoking Ramadan, right? no smoking is fine you can even smoke during Ramadan, like after you finish fasting um yeah like it's not it's not an issue you can you oh, can but you, you can, can smoke okay, you can, you can smoke okay I didn't yeah know but that. drinking should it should it be there in the first place <laughs> okay. yeah but uh you know like for Christ christians like before uh easter they have to like for 40 days before easter they have to give up something they love yeah so be it chocolates or sweets or meat or anything they absolutely love they have to give it up for 40 days it's called it's called something but i forgot Anyway, it's, it's fasting. 
basically it's, fa- no, it's, fast. yeah, it's, not, it's not fasting it's like you just give it up as like you sacrifice something you love mm. um in order to gain something you want or gain something that you've been praying for so that mm. makes you know like i i like that like you sacrifice something you love yeah in order to manifest something you really want because ah. it's like a two and two you know ramadan is uh more of like 30 days like you 30 days sometimes 29 days depending on the moon um yeah well, yeah it's just um you don't drink or eat anything yeah and nothing goes into your system for like from sunrise to like sunset, sunset. yeah yeah so 7 p.m you guys break the fast uh depends on depends the, on the sun. yeah the okay. sun depends on the sun and the oh moon. yeah <laughs> I remember two years ago, like when we were out on the, I was driving and there were these people giving away Ramadan packages like right during iftar. Mm. The radios announced like, okay, now is the time to break your iftar. The sun's gone out. I don't know. Some, some announcements get made yeah. and they were giving out food on the streets, like to all the cars. Mm-hmm. And it, it's always such a great time, but you know, because of the pandemic, we have to take precautions, yeah. but especially because ramadan is more like it's it's family oriented it's yeah. spiritually oriented and you know and of course you you have all of your family uh, family around you yeah it's all about you know? family yeah. in during ramadan family yeah. and friends family and friends gatherings you know uh, yeah. but you know sadly we cannot do that even sadly. last year last year we couldn't do that last year we couldn't but of course it's become a lot more better this year and you can have gatherings so more on that not large gatherings so I'll tell you more socially distant gathering yes, socially distanced and it's limited yes. so visits and distributing meals this ramadan is limited to family members only in the uae while friends and family normally share dishes and break the fast together in iftar tents and visit each other this will not be the case this year sadly and last night's covid briefing revealed that the uh, that only members of the same family and within the same house are permitted to share meals Now, NCEMA are up, uh, are urging the public to avoid gatherings altogether for the duration of Ramadan for safety reasons in an effort to reduce public gatherings. If our tents will, um, they will not be a part of this Ramadan uh, this year. But however, if you're keen on providing or distributing meals, you must only do so in coordination with charities through donations like zakat electronically and coming to restaurants this year. I mean, uh, restaurants always go all out for Ramadan and they give to the underprivileged. But yeah, this year, restaurants are prohibited from giving away meals inside or in front of their venues. Uh, They are, however, allowed to deliver only to labor housing complexes with direct coordination with the management of the labor housing. Now, a quick recap on those rules. Hosting family tents, uh, hosting family tents, sharing meals in public or distributing iftar meals in front of homes or mosques are not allowed this Ramadan. So that's like a quick recap for you guys. And that's what we have for Ramadan thus far. We will keep you updated on everything else that follows up. So uh, keep uh, keep tuned to our website and our lives. And you can download our app, Love in Dubai app, where you get notified on all the major announcements made in the UAE and made in Dubai by the government, of course. So, yeah. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, my hair. It's new. It's right. Do you guys do you guys like uh, Simon's new hair? <laughs> I didn't like it in the beginning, but like I, I like it now. You know, I've had like the worst experiences with hair. Really? Yeah, with getting my hair colored in salons. So the last time I got it colored was two, three years ago, and they bleached my entire hair. They turned it orange. And after that, I never went to a salon for coloring my hair. Like, I used to do it myself. But this one that I went to yesterday, oh, my God, God sent. Thanks. Cutting edge in Cluster U, if anyone wants to check it out. It's like, it's so good. So good. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> oh, yeah, moving on. I don't, like, but for girls, it's, like, so normal. You can start talking about your hair and, like, make up like this. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, I'm coming to today's occasion, which is St. Patrick's Day. And, um, like you can see, I am dressed in theme. No one else in the office is. So I think Casey and Rich might be when they come back in. But yeah, the patty don't start till you walk in. That is one of Casey's article that she wrote on the best Irish pubs in Dubai in 2021. Are you cringing at the pun? No, I'm not. Is that a good pun? Um, is it a good pun? The patty don't start until you walk in? 
Eh. Okay, that Casey wrote that. So Casey, <laughs> there is your verdict on the pun. I like it. I like the pun. At least just I don't know. He thinks he he's better than that pun anyway. But uh, yeah, Irish pubs are a perfect mix of good food, good kayak, and plenty of drinks. And here is a quick lowdown of the buys bests. Now at number four we have the Dub- Dubliners in Garhud, and this is located on the airport road, and they do good discounts. And Irish slew here is. Uh, and the Irish slew in that rest in that uh, resto and bar is delicious, and just like your mommy would make it apparently. And fib- fiber McGee's, how do you say it? Fiber or fiber? Uh, do you know fiber or fiber? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna say fiber McGee's, uh, and it's in Trade Center. And this one is one of the most oldest and iconic Irish pubs in town, and it's one of the. Irish in Dubai uh, and it's one that Irish in Dubai flock to and on a good day you'd find it packed to the brim drinks flowing with live Irish music from the likes of Paddy Man and the food is pretty good and they do delivery as well so if you're not in the mood to get out you can just order in for St. Patrick's Day and of course McGettigan's at number two with multiple locations across Dubai so the ones that I know of is in JLT a uh, world trade center and one in souk al-bahar if i'm not wrong unless they close it down i don't think they close it down but anyway jbr, JBR? it's in jbr as well I think so. okay yeah so four locations so far they might have more i didn't google this one uh but yeah mcgettigan's is the old faithful and there is a reason you'll find a lively crowd in uh in there most nights of the week they do pub grub extremely well and they've pulled up some brilliant open air events even during covid times with all covid restrictions in place so mcgettigan's is love and the vice personal favorite and the irish village of course if you're ever with the gang and you want to go for like a nice night out um do check out the Irish Village and they have bagged the number one spot on our list that you guys have voted for. And the Irish Village is in Algarhud and is an all-rounder. It's got a massive chill ground, loads of restaurants, large screens and a big stage. So any on a day like Paddy's Day or match days, when we are COVID-free, it's really the only place to be. And I will so vouch for that. That place is amazing. I I used to go there with my dogs and it's dog-friendly as well. So... You know, you can just head out there with a the full family, the squad, the pets. It's just a good day out at the Irish village. So that is it for us. Let us know in the comments if you guys are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And if you've missed Casey, like I've missed Casey, like don't let us know if you've missed. You can just tell her you've missed so she can read it and never ditch me on the show again. Because, yeah, it's it's better when it's the two of us, right? <laughs> better together. On that note, note, thanks Ali for being here and see you all same time, same place tomorrow. Bye. Guys, that is a wrap for The Love and Daily. We are back same time, same place every weekday morning. And of course, don't miss The Love and Show every Tuesday where I chat with Dubai personalities. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.